There's this guy, right? There's this guy, right? His name is John Porter. <laughs> And he has a kid, and his kid is fucking smart. By the time he's one years old, he learns how to read and write in full sentences, like a grown, like a grown adult. So first birthday comes along, dad's like, "What do you want for your birthday?" Kid's like, "I want a thousand green ping pong balls." Dad thinks it's a little weird, but he's a kid, so he gets it for him. And um, you know, as the years go on, this kid proves to just be genius. You know, he's like winning awards at school, spelling bees, the whole night. You know, and Kid finally goes to take his driver's test and, you know, he gets behind the wheel and he takes the test and passes, flying colors, 100%. Dad's like, shit, son, I'm so proud of you. I'll get you any car you want. I mean, I'll get you Lamborghini, Ferrari. I'll even get a limo service to drive you around for the rest of your life, wherever you want to go. His dad's like, or the kid's like, eh, you know what? I'm cool. I'll just borrow the station wagon. You know, it's all, it's all cool. I'll, but I'll... I'll take a thousand green ping pong balls if you got them. He's like, so all no, right. No, he's got two thousand. Oh no! Like every year for his birthday and Christmas, every that's year, all that's time what he wanted dinner. always. But well, wait, wait for it. Always wants a thousand green ping pong balls. So instead of getting him his car of his dreams, he gets him a thousand green ping pong balls, and you know the story carries on the same way every year for birthday, Christmas. Thanksgiving, if you want, I don't know. Get some thousand green ping pong balls. Kid finally graduates high school. Valedictorian, top of, the, top of the class, best kid there. Dad's so proud of me. He's like, son, I want to send you away on a trip. I'll send you anywhere you want to go in the world. I'm so proud of you. You're the best. You're the fucking smartest kid in the whole fucking school and town and whatever. Anywhere you want to go. He's like, you know, I'm just gonna stick around here and get a, like a, a, a summer job, earn, save up some money. He's all, but I, I could go for a thousand green ping pong balls. <laughs> Dad's like, are you are you sure, man? I'll, I'll send you like Australia. I'll send you. I'll send you to. Hawaii, Europe, backpacking for a year, wherever you want to go. He's like, nah, 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 I'm, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'll just, thousand green people on balls, that's cool. Dad gets it for him. Years go on, same story. Birthday, Christmas, Easter, whatever, you know, just keeps going on. And finally, uh, kid graduate, or no, he already graduated from college, you know, he's going to college, graduates from college, starts to get settled down and get married. You know, finds himself a wife, and on his wedding day, his dad's so proud of him. He's like, "Son, I'll, uh, I want to build you a house. I want to, you know, set your family off right. So you start off, and you have a, a nice house and home for your family. Just, you just, you name it, we'll have it built. White picket fence, little pink door, the whole nine. And yes. um, kids like, yeah, you know what? We got a nice apartment uptown. We're all right with that." But uh, if you if you could, you know, I could go for a thousand green ping pong balls. Just, Dad's like, are you sure, man? I'll like, I'll build the house to your specs. I like anything you want, it's yours. He's like, yeah, no, nah, I'm cool. We got the apartment, we're cool. A thousand green ping pong balls, though, if you could, Dad, that'd be nice. <laughs> Reluctantly, the father gets it for him. So you know, obviously, there's a pattern here. Years go on. The kid wants a thousand green ping pong balls. Dad gets it for him. Same story over and over again. One day, the father gets a phone call. Panicked voice on the other end of the line says, your son has been in an accident. He's not gonna make it through the evening. You need to get down to the hospital. In a panic, the father hangs up and runs out to his car and starts like getting on the expressway. He's like, what the fuck? There's four fucking hospitals. He doesn't know which one. So he fucking heads to the one closest to him, the East Hospital. He gets in there and he runs in. He's like, excuse me, ma'am, my son's been in an accident. I'm I need to know, is, is he in this hospital? Is he, is he here? He's like, one moment, gets on the computer. <laughs> She's like, yes, as a matter of fact, he's here. Room 502. <laughs> this is awesome. Why is the big part, bro? <laughs> so he's going to room 502. So he goes running into the room. It's a fifth fifth floor, second door on the left, runs in there, busted, dude's all fucked up, mangled looking, and all kinds of like IVs and shit, but it's not a son. Fuck. Father's like, fuck. Runs downstairs, gets in his car, starts hauling ass to the next hospital. Like 20 miles an hour! Going hella fast. Fast enough. Wait, 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 Runs inside and is like, ma'am, my son's been in an accident. I got a phone call. I know he's in the hospital. I know he's going to die. 
I need to talk to him. Please, is he in this hospital? She gets on the computer. She's like, one moment, sir. She's like, yes, he's here. We have him in room 302. So he goes up to the third floor, second door on the right, busts in. Dude's like in a cast, full body cast, all sprung up on IVs and shit, and it's not him. It's like, fuck. Fuck. Runs downstairs, gets in the car, starts hauling ass. Run over cats and dogs and old ladies. Oh, all kinds of crazy shit. All kinds of crazy shit. Of crazy shit. <laughs> Finally gets in, like gets to the gets to the, the West Hospital and busts in and it's like, excuse me, please, ma'am, my son. I got a phone call. My son's been in an accident. I've been told he's gonna die. I need to know is he in here? Is he, is he in this hospital? One moment, she gets sir. On the computer. One moment, sir. She gets on the computer. <laughs> She gets on the computer, she's like, yes, he's here. John Porter, yes. Oh Room 706. So he goes up to the seventh floor, sixth door on the right. Busting his shit all Busted. fucking nose up in his asshole. asshole and fucking asshole. shit all fucked up and shit. No, it's not him. It's not him. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, God. God damn it. So we want that? So we go to the last hospital. Obviously, you get in the trend here. We're hauling ass to the last hospital. <laughs> Going like 100 miles an hour. Oh, <laughs> and he finally gets to the last hospital and runs in. He's like, Man, I've been all over town, please. <laughs> My son only has like a little bit long to live. I need to know if he's still alive. Is he in this hospital? His name is John Porter. He's gonna die. I need to know. No, is he here? Dead. Please no. tell me. <laughs> Just one moment, sir. Just one moment, sir. Hold on. She gets on the computer. Gets on the so computer yes, one here. night. Yes, he's here. He's in room 106. Right down the hall. So he runs down there, he runs in, and there's his son. Hooked up to an IV, not doing good at all. Just totally in a bad way. And he sits down with his son, and, you know, they start, like, reminiscing of old times. and Talking about, I love you. I love you. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. All no, that no, shit. No, no, shit. And finally, like, after a while sitting there, you know, getting back to know each other, that if I was like, son, you know, out of all these years, you know, you, you made me so proud. I would have given you anything. Any car you wanted, any any house you wanted, I would have had to build. I would have sent you on trips, whatever you wanted. But all you ever wanted was a thousand green ping pong balls. I have to know, like, what did you do with the thousand green ping pong balls? My son kind of looks up at his dad. So, Father, you really want to know what I do with all the thousand green ping pong balls? He's yes. like, yes, I do. She's like, well, I, 